G'day, here we are at Golf Central. We are. A bit of a breezy night. It's starting to get a bit chilly. I mean, it's yep. it's 32 degrees and we're, just, <laughs> we're having to put jumpers on. We <laughs> huddle up. Um, we got a couple more. Oh, another putter in a hand. What do we got? Yep. Even, even roll. Even roll. Even roll. Yep. Is it even or Evan? I'm going to say even roll. Even, even, even roll. I think that's how it's been pronounced. Like that, that's really how it sure. probably should be pronounced. EVN roll. Yep. Garen Rife. Yes. Now, I had a previous Garen Rife design putter, which Softies now got. Um, yep. This Which is a, I think was not a bad putter. Yeah, it was just a classic so, Newport yep. answer style putter. Yep. With like a wavy design on the face. Again, roll yes. technology. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But I, I don't even know if he called it anything. He just it just had little wavy lines on the yeah. face. Yep. So now this has straight lines on the face. They, they but they widen. Correct. So they're like they a variable the mass thing. So there's less mass in the middle of the face. See how they get wider and yeah. wider in the middle? So, Man, I can't see that <laughs> <laughs> So there's less mass in the middle of the face and it becomes more mass in the outside of the face. So when you miss hit it, or when you hit it pure, it comes off at a speed. And then as you go further out, there's more mass there or there's more material there. So it jumps off the face a tad faster. So like drivers, increasing the ball speed across the face. Yep. So this is the ER5, there's ER1, ER2, ER6. Um, there's a whole lot of other ones. You'll see some other photos and some um, videos. This is an Odyssey number seven. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Yep. It's got so, the X5. Yeah. That sort of. There's, there's, there's a yeah, lot of shapes design. like that. Yeah. Fan, yep. It's perimeter weighting with a single line and two dots on the top. Yep. So Garen, I think he used to do. Anyway, we'll, we'll get onto that later. But um, face balance basically. It's got a slight toe hang, but it's bugger all, it's literally face balanced. Um, a 1.18 win Pro X grip, yeah? Pro X grip. So it's kind of like a mid-size grip and it's very rounded. Yeah. Yep. Person, personally don't like it that much. It's it's it is quite rounded. It's it's a it's a it's a great grip. Smaller in your left hand, thicker in your right. <laughs> is that what it is? Well, no, no, you'll, well the, the putter's if, not square. If you, if you look at it, it definitely yeah. when you put your hand on it. The top feels thinner than it does there. There you go. Maybe that's why it feels a bit strange. But <clears throat> so if you have a look at it, made a 303 stainless steel. It's it's definitely thinner at the top than towards the middle. There you go. No. The physicist. Mm, um, for it. Made a 303 stainless steel, so same as the Scotty Cameron yep. um, and other premium putters. Um, reasonably heavy heads. So I think this is 34 inch, and this is a 370 gram head. I did notice that the head feels. A but lot it heavier than slightly others. counterbalanced as well though so that's what the grip is so that's why they go slightly heavier head heavier butt end and counterbalances itself out um yeah. i don't mind the feel of it not a big fan of the sound of it i'm look i really like the putter that you used to have it was a the really garen design putter, yep so they make really good putters yes but i don't think much of it at all i don't like the feel i don't like the sound yeah, it just doesn't, certainly... So there is a very tingy, yeah. tingy sort of a sound. I'll try to get... Hang on, let's listen. Can you can you hear that, Kieran? Yep. Very, very tingy. <laughs> very, very tingy. It sounds a bit cheap. It does. It but, does. With, dare I say, that's the only model that it makes that ting sound. All right. The number yeah. five does makes a ting sound. Yep. The number one, the two, and the six and all that. They just don't make that noise. Yeah. It just, it feels funny to me. It sounds funny to me. It's certainly not. It's one I'd pass up for quickly. Okay. And Kieran? Yeah. I'm not a fan. So, so you see, so I'll, I'll just come to number out, seven. Yeah, yep. I've used yep. the number seven. I use my Scotty. I feel that there is too much weight in the head. Yeah. And there's not enough weight in the grip. It feels very head heavy. Uh, and I noticed when I was putting it, it would shoot off the face really quickly and then lose speed very quickly. So got to the hole and then stopped essentially. And it's got lots of backspin on it. <laughs> well, pretty much. No, I, I think the biggest um, thing is that so noise makes it sound yeah. fast. Yeah, the, which yeah, I don't. The, the noise would weird. take a lot to yeah. get used to. Yep. Um, yeah, you know, but I mean, if I hold every putt that I use with it, I'd probably put up with the sound. But straight away, the sound put, it just doesn't. It's, it it is different. Like, yeah. like you said, you got a Scotty Cameron made a three three. It's a duller sort of a, it's more a thud. firmer thud. Yeah, mate. Honestly, you're not going to you're not going to hold every putt with this. Well, you're, you're not, not going to hold, hold every putt with any putt. I don't. Yeah, they haven't invented one with full. Which 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 is it, annoying. It's coming in the um, yeah something technology. It's coming in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the hammer technology. The hammer technology yeah. in thirty years time. Yep. Yeah. 
But yeah, guys, look, nothing to say that it's actually a bad putter. You need to go test it yourself. No. But like I said, there's a handful of other putters that even roll like Aaron does. Yep. All in different lengths with different head weights and different, you know, yes, weights. Yes, they have different shaped heads. And there's heads heaps of different ones. Yep. I'll put some photos up. But yep. it, there's, a, there's a lot of different ones for your aim and what you like to look at. Yeah. So, like I said, the look of it, because it's a bit like the old first I had. Yeah, yeah, it's right, the same so shape. Look down, but it just... It's, it's, it's the, the sound and the feel. Mm. Not right. And I would certainly look at a different head. There you go. I, I, would, I would be very interested in seeing the... Like if there's a Newport style or an Adams there's, there's style. There's a number one, but it's... Um, it's that blade style though, right? They all go into the head, so none yeah. of them have any uh, real offset. they just got the single bend shaft that actually goes into the head itself. None of them have a plumber's neck or okay. a slant neck or anything yep. like that. So... I, 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 yeah, I just think visually to me it's just looking at that. I, I don't know if it's the alignment or something like that. Just I'd prefer more of the blade style. Yeah. Or, and, you know, I'd, I'd definitely give it a go. I mean, there's no... Just try it. Again, the, the roll technology, if you have a look at the stuff on the internet of Garen doing it on the Jew board and everything like that, it it must work and it does work. Um, and that's what's so good about that. But potentially, in time, if it comes out with some other ones, it might more people buy them on the market. The other ones are different sounding though. But anyway, check out the even roll guys. Check out some other putters, get fit, have a hit, practice outside. Just try them. That's the biggest Just thing. Just try them. That's And if, and if yep. you're lucky enough to use Sam's Putt Lab, or like a motion capture lab, get that done. Like the TaylorMade Performance Lab here at Golf Central. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Kieran. We'll see you next time. Cool, cool. Beautiful.